Hey everyone, welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm your host, Jess. And I'm your host, Lauren. And today we are together, which is awesome for the first time in a long time. And we have a great topic to go over with you guys today. Everything you need to know before enrolling in Penn Foster. So we're going to give you all the good details, everything you need to know. But firstly, Lauren is going to give us our Facebook Live rules and a little bit of etiquette. So... Sounds good. Um, thank you all for watching here today. We hope that you will participate in the conversation with us. Um, so the first rule is if you have any questions or any comments as we're talking, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. Um, also, we'll always take a like or a share if there are people in your network that um, are thinking about enrolling in online school as well. You can share this with them. Um, we do just ask that, of course, you keep in mind that the comments section is public, so don't drop any personal information in there, like your phone number or student number. Instead, you can give us a call. Um, our number for student services, that's the number to call if you're already a Penn Foster student and you have any questions. That number is 1-888-427-1000. If you are not yet a Penn Foster student but want to know more about our programs or what it's like to be an online learner, you can call our admissions department at 1-888-427-6500 and we'd be happy to chat with you. So all of that being said, we're going to dive right into the good stuff. Um, so on our agenda today is how to choose the right program for you, how to actually enroll in Penn Foster, how classes work at Penn Foster, and what you need to start a Penn Foster program. So Jess, Maybe you could take us through the first of these very important agenda items. How do you even begin to think about what program is right for you if you're feeling a little bit unsure? Yeah, so um, as you guys know, we have tons of programs um, in all different industries. So if you are kind of just going in blind, know you want to do something um, online, or if you kind of have an industry, but you're not sure exactly what job you want to do, um, we have so much. So first things first is you can you have to consider what career do you want to have. Um, if you want to work in HR, you won't enroll for healthcare, obviously. So if you can figure out what industry you want to work in, that is a really great first step to figuring out what program is right for you. Um, the next thing you need to check out is if the career that you're looking to go into requires a college degree. Um, not every career re requires a degree. So many just require some training or a career diploma or certifications. So if you go onto our website and you go down the programs, it'll tell you exactly what you need for you know, each specific program and specifically for the job you want in particular. And also another thing that's really important to consider is how long you have to study for to reach this future career. Obviously, you know, there's all different kinds of degrees from associate degrees to bachelor degrees. Some things require masters. And then, like we said, some things only require a couple certifications or a career diploma. So just knowing how long you need to study for and how long it's going to take you to get to that point is really important to make sure it aligns with your lifestyle and the things you want to do. Um, obviously, career diplomas are shorter programs, so if you're looking to get into your career as soon as possible, that might be better for you, um, whereas a degree might take you a couple years to complete. So definitely make sure that you're being you know, honest with yourself about where you're going and how long you want it to take you to get there, and those are just some great starting points to figure out what program will work best for you. And I think, like you said, those are great starting points, but Obviously, there's a lot more to those things, like figuring out if you need a certificate, a degree, a diploma, figuring out, okay, I want to work in healthcare, but what exactly? Right. So we actually have a lot of really great resources right on our Penn Foster website, pennfoster.edu. If you are on the homepage, you can scroll through to the Career Resource Center. They're in a lot of you know different fields like healthcare, vet, education. You can find tons of blogs and great resources about our different programs. It'll take you through what the careers are like, what you may expect to earn. Obviously that could depend on a lot of different um, factors, um, but there's just so much great information on our website. Or if you go to our Student Life blog, also on our website, um, there's tons of great content um, that could really speak more to all of these things. And of course, if you 
want to know more specifically about one of our programs and the outcomes that the program could have for you, um, again, you can call our admissions department and talk it through at 1-888-427-6500. And I also just thought of, um, we have our Alumni Spotlight podcast. So if you search for Penn Foster on SoundCloud, you can check that out. And on our Alumni Spotlight podcast, um, we interviewed a lot of our graduates who have completed our programs and then gone on to have careers in those fields. And those are great stories where you could hear firsthand from learners like you what it's actually like to be in the program, what it's actually like to be an online student, and what a career specifically could mean or could look like for you. So those are all great things to check out if you're considering what program you really want to dive into. Um, but once you have that figured out, the next step, of course, is enrolling. So Jess, can you take us through a couple of the steps on how to enroll in Penn Foster? Absolutely. This is really like the bread and butter. Once you have it figured out and you really know what you want to do, the actual enrollment process is definitely your next step. Um, luckily for all of you out there, it's pretty easy. There's no application or application due dates. Um, so you can really get started whenever you're ready, which is great. Um, when you're all set to start your program, you can either enroll over the phone with an admission specialist or online. Um, for some people, it might be easier to call in and talk to a specialist if you do have more questions that you weren't able to find the answers to through all of our many resources, which we have tons of. Um, so it might just be easier for you to call in and talk to somebody live over the phone, get those couple answers, and then they can swiftly transition you into the enrollment process. But if you already know everything you need to know, you're ready to go, you can sign, you can register and enroll right online. Um, if you're sure about the program you want to enroll with, um, like I said, online is fastest and it's the easiest way to do it. Um, again, though, if you have questions, you can call um, the admissions department 1-88-427-6500. We're going to give you these numbers a bunch of times because we want to make sure that you have them in the back of your mind if you're looking to, you know, talk to a real live person about our programs. Um, the next thing you need to kind of consider what the enrollment requirements are now. These you'll be able to find on the program pages on our website, but you can also ask the admission specialist when you talk to them or they'll let you know. Um, for example, if you're planning to enroll in our high school diploma program, the, one of the requirements is that you have to be at least 13 years old. Um, for college degrees and certificates, students must be at least 17 to get started. However, there's no age limits to our program. So whether you're 18 or 100, you can take the next steps for Forward to reach your goals and to get you that career that you really want. Um, and the next piece is when do your classes start? Well, I'll tell you that there is no enrollment deadlines and all of the classes are self-paced. So once you are signed up, you can immediately jump right in and get started, which I think is super, super great. Definitely. If you're having one of those weeks where you just feel like you're on fire, you're ready to tackle everything, you have these goals and you just like don't want to wait anymore to start to start achieving them, you can enroll and get right into it and start making progress, which is pretty cool. Um, so with, with some of our programs and some of certain things, there is um, paperwork involved, which I know we said online school and we're telling you that it's all, you know, digital and online, but some things do still require a little bit of paperwork. So Lauren, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So one thing you don't need to submit is an application. Um, you can enroll without having to do that. So that's pretty nice. It's This education is an option that is available to you, no matter what your circumstances. So I think that that's pretty great. Um, but for career college programs, um, they may require a high school diploma. So you'll need to fill out the high school completion form that can be found in your student portal for those. And those allow us to verify your diploma without needing to send in a copy of the actual document. Um, also, for some high school and college programs, you might have transcripts that you want to send in. Um, those can save you money on those programs. So you don't need those to get started. But of course, you will want to submit your transcripts. Um, we, we can get into that too. Um, to save some money in your program and, and maybe skip a few things. So um, if you do have those credits that you've completed at another school, you will have to mail in sealed transcripts. 
um, to our address, actually in the building that we're in right now in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The address is um, the old address of the Penn Foster at 925 Oak Street, Scranton, PA. 18515, and we'll drop that in the comments. Um, that's available on our website and our student portal as well. Those will have to be official sealed transcripts from your previous school. So just note that you can't print something off, or if you've had sealed transcripts that you've opened, those unfortunately won't work. Um, so you will have to talk to your previous school and, and get those mailed in. But uh, we have a transcript evaluation team, so they will work with you to see how those credits can apply to the program that you're getting into, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you're all enrolled and that process is out of the way, then we'll get into the classes, which is the exciting part of it. Um, at Penn Foster, all of your classes are completely online and self-paced, which is something that we talk about a lot, and that's important. I think one thing, you know, if you're weighing options between different types of schooling, whether that be in person, online, which types of online schools, they all can work a little bit differently. So Penn Foster is a good option for you if you're somebody who's really motivated to do things on your own time. And, um, you know, you maybe don't have the same times every day. Maybe, you know, you're trying to squeeze in a little bit of studying on your work break or when you put the kids to bed. Um, so the self-paced option comes in handy there. If you're somebody who travels a lot or um, you just don't want to sit in a classroom, the online option is pretty nice. Um, all of your study guides, your digital textbooks, your exams, your assignments, and important documents are all included in your student portal that you can access 24-7. And since the program is self-paced, you can decide on your own study schedule um, when you're going to take your exams. So that's pretty nice. In our last Facebook Live, we talked a lot about exams. Yes. So if you are interested in anything that has to do with the examination process, there are a couple different kinds of exams. We can drop the link to that Facebook Live too, and you can get all of that great information. Um, and all of our past Facebook Lives have a lot of great information. So sure. if you watch this and you decide you want to enroll and you have you know, some more questions, scroll back down through our, our page and check out some of our older Facebook Lives because we're always throwing all this information right at you guys. Definitely. Um, but exams are something we get a lot of questions about. So we'll give you a few highlights in this one. Um, but really the way our exams work is, like I said, you could take them when you're ready. Um, when, after you pass an exam, you can move right on to the next lesson or course. If you don't do as well as you'd have liked on an exam, or if you fail an exam, you can retake it and improve your score, which is a pretty nice feature. Um, and you know, if you're preparing for an exam or you don't do well on an exam and you feel like you really need help, we do have resources for you. Um, you can find a lot of answers to commonly asked questions in the help center of your student portal. If you need a quick answer, um, you can also message your instructors from your student portal or set up an appointment to speak on the phone with one of your instructors if you need help with a course or with an issue, something you're just not understanding. So I think that's kind of nice too, because for people who, you know, if you're in a course that makes a lot of sense, you can move through it swiftly, get it done out of the way and you're all good. But if you hit something that's a little bit more difficult, the help is there. Yes. If you're somebody who you don't like talking to people on the phone, um, you could always send messages. If you're somebody that needs to talk it out, you know, to a real person, you could do that too. So um, there are different options based on what you're comfortable with, which I think is pretty nice. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's really important to just note that there are so many options and so many ways for you to get the help that you need. If you are in a program and you do have questions, you're not limited to just picking up that phone. And you're definitely right. There are some of us out there who don't like to talk on the phone yeah. and have a hard time articulating what we mean. It's easier for us to just type it out and send over a message than it is to get on the phone and stumble over your words. But then on the other side of the spectrum, there are people who are much better in that regard um, and prefer to verbalize what they mean to explain it. So having all of those options is really, really incredible. Yes. Um, so after you are, you know, now that you know what the classes look like, what your exams kind of look like, we gave you a high level overview. Um, these are the things that you need to start your Penn Foster program. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is make a payment towards your tuition and set up a payment plan to get started. 
Um, you'll need a computer, laptop, or mobile device connected to the internet to complete your courses. Um, most of your classes and exams can be done on any mobile device, but some may require you to have access to a laptop or a desktop, and some programs may have assignments or projects like writing an essay or creating a spreadsheet that you won't be able to easily do on, you know, your phone or your tablet. One thing I just want to point out with that is if you don't own a computer, um, local libraries often have computers that are available for the public to use. So you can look into that as an option. Like Jess said, you could do a lot of it on your mobile device, but if you are writing a paper or doing something where you really need a bigger screen, you could always uh, see if you can go to your local library and use the computers there. I'm glad that you pointed that out because I always love to shout out local libraries and let everybody know there's so much great stuff yeah. there. We always t say, too, we've said in past Facebook Lives, if you are the kind of person who doesn't have a place at home where you can, you know, mm -hmm. put yourself aside in a room and get your stuff done and there's, you know, you live with other people and there's a lot of hustle and bustle and you can't focus, local libraries usually have study rooms, too, that you can rent and put your name on by the hour and go in and just be you, yourself, and I in your schoolwork and really hone in on everything yeah. without all those external distractions around you. So great That's point. a really good point. Yeah. I, too. And shout out to all local libraries because yes. they're the best. Um, and you'll also need an email address. Um, so you need an email address to sign up. So you won't even get to this point without one. Um, but it's also important to have one so you don't miss out on emails from the school. So, you know, if you don't have, you know, your standard professional email set up, Gmail, Yahoo, any of those, jump on, create your email address, and then you'll have all of the communications that come through email from us all in one place, which is great. You'll also get emails about future Facebook Lives, so of course you don't want to miss those. <laughs> Absolutely, you're 100% right. Um, the additional materials that can be helpful when studying online are notebooks or note-taking apps. Um, some people, if you're like me, you have absolutely terrible chicken scratch handwriting and you write stuff down and then you can't even read it, let alone somebody else. So for me, I like to use the notes app on my phone to take notes down. But for some people like Lauren, Lauren likes to write a lot of her stuff down. So, you know, depending on the kind of person you are, you might want to have either a physical notebook, nothing beats a pen and, pa pen and paper, or your note taking app on your phone um, so that you can take notes and access them later to remember important information. Um, a lot of our exams too are open book. So that's important too. For anybody who's taken an open book exam, it seems like it's going to be so easy. But if there's a lot of material and you're working to get through an exam, it's really hard to find the information that you need sometimes. So it's a million times easier if you take really good notes and you can look through your notes and that'll help you on your exams. You know what? You're right. I, I can't think of any time where I've taken an open book exam where I it was as easy as I thought it was going to be yes. because flipping through paragraphs and things mm -hmm. like that, it's so difficult. So having the major points from a lesson written down in your own words will definitely help you there. So that's definitely true. Much easier. Like we said, a quiet place to study is always great. Again, if you don't have something like that um, in your home, Totally fine. There are options, like we said, your local library, even a local coffee shop. You can take, you know, your laptop or your phone to anywhere where you can kind of eliminate external distractions and just be able to focus on you and your schoolwork is something that can be really helpful. Um, access to a word processor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, which is, you know, a free service online. If you sign up for a Gmail account, you have access to Google Word, you have access to spreadsheets, you have access to PowerPoint presentations, um, all free, all right on your computer. And the nice thing is too, if you um, create a Word document in Google Docs, like Google Docs version of Word, you could download it as an actual Word doc. So if that's how you want to send the document or give it to other people, you could do that, which is pretty nice. Yes, that's that's a very good point. I always forget about that because I'm always sending links to my Google stuff. Yeah. But you're definitely right about that. And last but not least is a study schedule. Um, that's another thing that we've talked about in a lot of Facebook Lives. We have a lot of great resources on um, study tips and things that are helpful. And setting up a study schedule for yourself um, can really be super helpful. Um, the programs are self-paced, so obviously 
You don't have to keep yourself on a super strict schedule. Be kind to yourself. Know that sometimes you will be, you'll have to stray from your schedule, but just having specific time um, set aside, whether it's two hours or 30 minutes on your lunch break, you know, having that time set aside to really dive into your studying or take an exam just helps you progress and get through that program at the pace you want to get through it in. And I would say too, thinking about when you're going to have time to study and mapping out that study plan before you enroll or as you're enrolling is really important to set yourself up for success because the self-paced nature of our programs is very nice and that it gives you flexibility. But it also can be tricky if you're somebody who can be a procrastinator or can put things off. So (laughs) you definitely have to, or, you know, you're just so busy. So I think it's important too to know when you're going to carve out time to study and work on your program so that you're setting yourself up to be successful in your program. Absolutely. You're 100% right. And, you know, once you're in with us, you're doing the thing. Um... It's really awesome to be able to stay connected with us, you know, as Penn Foster, as an institution, and also, you know, your fellow peers for motivation. Um, We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now we're on TikTok. So make sure you give us a follow on all of those social platforms where you can interact with us via comments. You can check out, you know, all the great stuff we have coming up. We post about Facebook Lives. We post about, um, we have a veterinary webinar series if you're a vet student that we post about. Keep you guys all in the know of all the great things going on. So be sure to, you know, follow us there so we can all stay connected, which is great. And then there's also... The student community if you want to talk a little bit about that it's the it's the best so it's an online community where you have to be a student or a graduate to be in the student community and that's for two reasons one to keep you all safe um, from random people online but then also um, every single person that's in the student community is somebody who you can relate to so that somebody who is also in a Penn Foster program which is pretty cool there is our community manager who his name is Sean. He's like the nicest um, guy in the world. And he genuinely cares so much really about all of you and your success. So if you log into the student community, you can chat with Sean. You could chat with chat with other learners. There are different groups and clubs and discussions in the community. So if you are interested in something specific like reading, you can find other people who love to read. If you are in enrolling in our vet tech program or in high school, you can find people in the community that are in those programs and you could talk about your experiences. You could talk about what it's like to try and get a job or make it through a really hard exam. So it's just such a cool place where you can get to know people, even if though, you know, you're all over the country, all doing different things, but it's a great space to come together and, and have that sense of community. Yeah. And I mean, that's the, that's probably for a lot of people, what keeps people from wanting to do school online is Mm -hmm. they worry that they're losing that, you know, group of peers that you're around all the time. You're going to classes with, you're sitting with, you're walking with, and the student community really does a really great job at connecting students and graduates like you with people who understand what you're going through, even though you're not on a college campus or in a high school. Um, Just knowing that you're not alone and that everybody there's always somebody else kind of going through the same thing you're going through makes a lot of it really a lot easier. That's a really good point. So that brings us to the end of our agenda. But I did just also want to say, if you are thinking about enrolling in Penn Foster and taking on a new program, um, you know, it's a great time to do it. This economy is insane. And if, you know, you're looking to get into a career that's really in demand, it's a great time to do that. Um, a lot of the programs that we offer do align to programs in fields like healthcare, where um, there'll always be a need for healthcare workers, or in veterinary, where there'll always be a need for veterinary workers. Um, but one thing we'll say is, you know, it's important to know what you're getting yourself into. So look at those program pages. Some of our programs, like the veterinary technician program, do require an externship. So you do the online portion, but then there's also the in-person element in order to graduate. So Um, you know, definitely take a look at those program pages. All the information you need will be there. Know what these programs and these careers entail so that you're not in for any surprises later on. Um, you know, we try to be really upfront with everything 
that's involved in a career in that field, that's involved in the program, most of them are completely online. So um, this only applies in certain circumstances, right. but um, we just want you to know what you're getting yourself into um, so that you can be really successful and go on to have hopefully a great career and you know really work towards achieving your dreams. We get, are really lucky. We get to see a lot of you on social media and talk to a lot of you to hear your stories and we see so many people who complete these programs and really change their lives to the better, not only in their careers, but also just in the confidence of having that education and that those skills and the knowledge that you get to take with you for the rest of your life, no matter what. And that's so powerful. Yes. So know that we're in your corner and we're rooting for you. And we genuinely want you to pick the program and the path that's right for you and then see you succeed in it. Absolutely. I echo every sentiment there. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Yes. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. See ya.